Well, folks, it's that time of year again. Race season is in effect. And today, we are going to go through my running bag. Because I haven't gone through my running bag since May. Or, no, I, I went in my bag when we came back from my last race in Memphis. Because I one day suddenly remembered that I put my fruit and stuff in here. It was like a couple of days after we got back from Memphis and I remembered that I had like oranges and bananas in my bag and I didn't want them to go bad in my bag. It was a very chaotic experience, but that's usually what happens. But that's why you should go through your race bag. I Also, going through my race bag because I am running a race this weekend and I want to make sure that I have everything that I need. Oh, I wanted to make some additions to my race bag. So let's split. So let's start off with the actual bag here. This is a Boca gear bag backpack. It is my Bib Brave backpack that I got when I joined and I absolutely love this bag and I think that it's perfect to hold all of my running stuff. It's got the little water stuff on the side. So let's go through the bag and see what is in here. I actually wish I had a better place to sit. I guess I could sit on the floor, but so it's just really time to refresh everything that's in my bag. So I have the, whoa, okay, well, drop it. I have these little spring clips so that I can tighten my pants when I wear them because that always is an issue. I have a little Ziploc bag to put like um, my honey stingers in. I have a mask and I have my little bib clip things because safety pins just don't work for me. These things clip on, they stay secure and they really, really work. So I, I'll link everything down below in my Amazon store so that if you do need some race stuff, you can get it here. I got these from Amazon. They're not like the ones that I, I like to use, but um, I also have a buff. This is the We Run Social one. And these are my actual bib boards. I got, I purchased these because I actually lost one of my bib boards. Um, I don't know how but I have my ones from the Woodlands Half Marathon and then the Flying Pig. I'm not, I think I lost one of my Flying Pig ones, but I love these things. They work very, very well. Amazing. All right, I also have another bib buff thing right there. All right, so actually inside the bag, I have my, I'm glad that this is in here because I was, I was afraid I was gonna have to go look for it. This is my running wallet because it's smaller. And yeah, so it's got a place for my ID. I usually run with one card and a little bit of cash. I have my, my running ring jacket. Oh, I have a hat in here. I've been looking for that hat actually. I have this bike valve water thing to put on the front of my, the front of my orange mud vest let's see and then in here i have like some running essentials in this old little pencil pouch i've used this forever but i think that i'm gonna upgrade so i have some scissors i usually keep some kt tape in here so those are all things that i need to refresh because there's no kt tape um i also have this little pill thing so i can um keep like my sodium pills in there healing ointment aka aquifer because you always need to put this on your feet, especially if it's gonna rain. And I have a pair of scissors to cut my KT tape, which is not in here. So I have a small toiletry kit that has the basic essentials, chapstick, deodorant, Vaseline, lotion, things like that. Um, I have my camo bag. I use my camo bag, um, usually post-race when I'm changing out of my clothes so that my wet, disgusting clothes can be in here and I can sit in my car in peace without having to worry about wearing my clothes back because that's just not a vibe for me. Look, here's water from that last race that I ran. 
I have some uh, Honey Stinger hydration, rehydration stuff that I like to use. I also have some uh, Gatorade Zero because that's really what I like to drink. Post-race are on the course too. You know, you have to be careful with that. And I have another Honey Stinger thing. This is what it looks like. It's the Honey Stringer Rapid Hydration Mix. Strawberry lemonade, it's very good. I think that is all which is in my running bag currently. I also have a, um, what's the name of the towel? Oh, the orange mud towel that I put over my seat. I actually need to order a new one because mine looks like it's shrunk or something. But um, I will also be putting my new running glasses in my bag so that I can always have these. These have definitely been game changers in my life and I got this cute little case for it. So that's gonna be there. I'm also, I think I'm gonna like put some socks and some other like extra things that sometimes that I tend to forget when I go to races. My socks, I'm also gonna put like my Garmin charger and all that. So, like I said, I was gonna do a little upgrade on my bag. So I bought this cute little bag from Target. I was gonna get like a Sony Clover bag and you know make it cute but you know i have to be a little bit budget friendly here i mean as much as i would like that i don't it's not within my my budget to pay for that right now so but it's very cute it's very roomy that's exactly what i need you know just so that i can i need to find some kt tape so this this was actually very beneficial for me to go through my running bag because I need to make sure that I have all the things that I need. I was going through my little running bin here and then it just occurred to me that there are lots of things that I left out of my bag. Like, this is my rain hat. Obviously these are like my running essentials, like my running timer. This is what I used to keep all of my stuff in before my little honey stinger bag. So I do have like my bib belt just in case I don't want to just in case I don't want to wear like the the bib snaps usually like if it's a shorter race distance then I'm probably just gonna wear this and then like for a half marathon or a marathon or something then I'm gonna wear the bib boards unless it's like extremely windy then I'm gonna wear the bib boards too look more heal, heal, uh, healing ointment got a case for my glitter glasses I don't need anymore Got some more, of course, the fuel hand warmers, always an essential. And I have more running fuel things. So that's very important. Um, I do have this flip belt, which I think that I am too rotund to wear now. So I think I probably need to buy another one of those. My headphones are charging right now. I got my Garmin and Headlight, that's something I definitely need to keep in there. I have more hand warmers, so I'll probably just add like four more. We are in no way in need of hand warmers right now, but I just like to keep them in my running bag so that if I do get in a situation where I need them, I always have them. Yeah, so now we need to put all of this in the running bag, minus the headphones. put all of the stuff in the bag so let's do this
I thought I was recording and I wasn't. So, story of my life. Um, I don't know if I am do if I did a good job of actually showing you what was in my running bag. I just put my extra socks in there because if you remember, I had an incident. This is crooked. I had an incident um, at the beginning of the year where I went to a race and I forgot my socks. So. At least this way, I can always know that I have a pair of socks. Obviously, this is not everything that I need because obviously I still need like, um, you know, like my race pack and all that that I wear. But this is what was. This is these are the essentials that I need, and this is what will just permanently stay in this bag. Oh, you know what I also forgot? I forgot my GoPro stuff. So let me put that in here right now because that would have been a disaster. I'm so glad that I sat down to record this video because I would have forgotten that completely. So <laughs> see, it's always good. I have my GoPro stick right here and then I also have, what else is in here? Oh, another little tripod. And then I have my GoPro backpack holder thing, which is, you know, these are things that I, I like to use. So, hey, I'm actually really glad that I sat down to record this video now. See, always helps, always helps. But I just posted a TikTok and then it's not gonna be very complete, but whatever. Maybe I'll make another one. <laughs> Here we go, GoPro stuff in the bag. Thank goodness you saved me. Thank you for making me a content creator where I can not, I mean, any other day I would have forgotten that. But you're not worried about that, but that is what is in my running bag. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. Comment down below what's in your running bag. Do you have a running bag? Am I just being extra? I probably am, but it's okay. I, I would rather be extra and have more than what I need than to not have enough. That's just always my motto. And yeah, so that is all for this video. This is what's in my running bag. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.